Hey everyone, hope you all are having an amazing day. To make your day even more interesting, we at IntelliPad have brought an interesting video on easy way to learn Python. So before we move on with our live session, please subscribe to our channel. And also if you want upcoming updates, please hit the bell icon and also leave a like if you enjoy our content. So let's move on to the agenda. So first we will be going through why learn Python. After that we will look into Python job description. Then we will move on to Python developer skills. Going ahead we will see the learning path for Python developers. And finally we will look into the resources that you must follow to learn Python effectively. So moving on to the first part why learn Python. So the very first reason to learn Python is it is very simple to learn and easy to use. Python has a very few keywords, simple structure and a clearly defined syntax. This allows the students to pick up the language very quickly. So it is very easy to use unlike other languages it has a very short code structure. So it has a very simple structure and it does not have complex functions to implement. So the main reason for the popularity is its simplicity. Because software engineering is booming, it attracts a lot of newcomers to the field. And other programming languages are too difficult in comparison to Python for learning. So people choose Python for development. So even for writing a simple hello world program, you have to have a knowledge of classes, static methods and packages in other programming languages. Whereas in Python you just need to write a simple line to print a hello world statement. Now the next one is readability. So Python code is more clearly defined and visible to the eyes. So as it does not have any complex functions or complex structure it is more readable. You can just interpret the functionality of the code by just reading or going through the code. Now moving on to the next one is portability and extensibility. So Python can run on a wide variety of hardware platforms and has the same interface on all platforms. This is the portability feature of Python. Then coming to extensibility, you can add low level modules to Python interpreter and these modules enable programmers to add or to customize their tools that can be more efficient for development. So this portability and extensibility features makes it more unique in comparison to other programming languages for development. Now the next reason you should learn Python is it has a large community. So as you already know it is used in various fields. It is used in various fields for development. Therefore it has a large community of Python developers who can help you out in solving your queries and doubts. They can help you to create specific functionality for your software. They can help you to test your code, optimize your code and write more efficient code that can uh, give more efficient in functionality. So you can also take suggestions from uh, Python developers around the community to create more robust softwares and with error free codes. So by just using community support of Python, you can learn and grow by yourself. Now the next one is versatility. So it supports multiple inheritances. So it also supports both object oriented and procedure oriented programming. So Python is also associated as a communicative language which is thought about as a top feature because it helps to specialize in the answer instead of the syntax. So this feature makes Python more popular. Now the domains in which it is used is software development. So there are way out multiple domains in which Python is used for development and one of them is software development creating robust softwares. Then comes web development for creating web applications. After that data science, machine learning, big data and deep learning. So it is used to handle big data, create and visualize the data, extract some meaningful insights from it, then create machine learning and deep learning models for creating for automation. Now the next one is high demand. 
so yes it is according to the developer survey by forbes python was one of the most in demand technologies of 2018 2019 and 2020 so in 2019 it was ranked as the world's second most popular programming language among professional developers also python developers are high in demand not only because the language is so popular and widely used but mostly due to the fact that python became a solution in many different areas from web applications to data science and machine learning so python makes development task easy efficient and fast in comparison to other programming languages now moving on to the next part there are many fortune 500 companies who hire python developers for developing their software so there is facebook linkedin twitter youtube fractal google skype ola oracle so these are all fortune 500 companies who employs various technologies such as data science big data machine learning deep learning and for various software development task they prefer to use python rather than using different programming languages for different softwares so you can have a very good career if you master python and you can work in these top multinational companies with a very good salary package now talking about salary of a python developer so in united states the average salary of a python developer is dollar 123000 in india it is 15 lakh per annum and in the united kingdom it is 71000 british pounds if you want to make a career in data science then intellipat has iit madras advanced data science and ai certification program this course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by iit professors and industry experts now we'll move on to the python job description so you can go out there and search for various python job description in various uh, job posting platforms such as nokri.com indeed or glassdoor so you will find these skills you can find the job description as you can see it on your screen uh, such as expert in object oriented programming so a python developer must be an expert in object oriented programming and he or she should have a comprehensive knowledge on how to implement oops concepts then expertise in mysql or any other database related programming languages after that knowledge of rest api json etc then if you are into testing or the companies look for the professionals who can test troubleshoot and optimize application components for maximum speed security stability and scalability uh, using pytest or testify so there are various frameworks for testing python software so the most popular frameworks are pytest and testify then expert in python with knowledge of at least one python web framework such as django and flask so this is basically a typical web developers uh, job description so this is typically a web developers job description having the knowledge of django and flask then full stack development skills in angular basic skills of java script html and php and good understanding of mongo db so if you are into web development using python programming language then these are the skills uh, such as java script html php mongo db or python framework such as django and flask so it completely depends on the organization which profile they are looking for so if they are looking for a data scientist then you must have knowledge of various python frameworks such as pandas matplotlib scipy numpy scikit-learn so these all are used for numerical computation data visualization and if they are looking for machine learning engineer or deep learning engineer then along with the frameworks a data scientist no you should also have the knowledge of various frameworks such as tensorflow keras that are used by machine learning engineers and ai engineers now moving on to the next part which is python developer skills 
so we have already seen what is the python's job description it varies according to uh, organization to organization so there are certain skills that a python developer must possess starting with master in object oriented programming so a python developer must know how to implement oops concepts efficiently and effectively to build uh, various robust softwares then experience in sql as a python developer builds the architecture of the software such that it connects with the database of the organization so they must have knowledge of database languages such as sql then comes analytical skills that helps that must be possessed by a python developer to solve real world problems then good grasp of web frameworks this is due to the reason that 7 out of 10 times when you are searching for a job in online job portals you will find jobs for python web developers then comes multiple delivery platform understanding so a python developer must have a knowledge of uh, various platforms so that they can build a robust software that runs without any glitches in various platforms then comes code debugging and unit test skills so this includes debugging and testing the software for removing the redundancy in it so it completely depends on the type of job you are looking for and the type of professionals that companies are looking for so a python developer skills revolves around the frameworks and packages that a python developer is experienced in so it starts with like unit test if you are into testing so pytest that is one of the famous testing frameworks of python then django for web development flask again for web development tensorflow for artificial intelligence keras again for artificial intelligence and machine learning then tkinter matplotlib pandas that are used in the field of data science so it completely depends upon an individual in which field they want to make their careers now we'll see the learning path for python so for a beginner you must starts with oops concept input output operations in python then error handling looping statements and libraries of python so you need to first master these fields you need to work on these fields in order to master the basics of python then you have to decide which field you want to master either data science machine learning artificial intelligence game development or web development so accordingly you can choose the framework that you have to learn such as for django django is used for web development for game development we use pygame of python then pytest is used for testing then pandas matplotlib for data science tensorflow for machine learning and artificial intelligence so there are hundreds of packages that are individually used for these fields so you need to master the use of these packages and libraries by implementing it so you should select a use case or a basic project of your choice so that you can use these frameworks for creating for working on basic projects to clear the concepts and finally you should move on to working on real time projects that will help you to gain hands on experience and that will help you to provide experience in working on projects how an organization how an organization implements a project using python so this will help you to become an expert or a professional in python and master the field related to it so this is the learning path for becoming an expert in python if you are a beginner If you want to make a career in data science then Intellipat has IIT Madras Advanced Data Science and AI Certification Program. This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by IIT professors and industry experts. So guys we have come to the end of our session. I hope you all enjoyed it. For any questions that you have related to coding you can mention it in the comment sections below. So thank you so much for attending this session and meet you in another session.